10 markets for women vendors to be built in rural areas soon, asserts Chief Minister N. Biren. Special Court NDPS Manipur sentences couple to 12-year imprisonment in drug case. Borun Thokchom's I Rise wins Best Documentary in 9th Mumbai Short International Film Festival 2020. COVID-19 To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Whenever you go out of your house, wear a mask properly. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello viewers, your TNT News at 4. Chief Minister N. Biren has asserted that 10 markets for women vendors will be constructed in the rural areas at the earliest. The cabinet will soon decide to disperse loan to street vendors in hill districts under Prime Minister Street Vendors Atma Nirbhar Nidhi and Mudra. He was speaking at the loan distribution function under Prime Minister Street Vendors Atma Nirbhar Nidhi and Mudra held at the Chief Minister's Secretariat. Works Minister T. H. Bishwajit, Social Welfare Minister O. Henry, Tourism Minister Oinam Lukhoi, Forest Minister Awangbo Numai, Sericulture Minister T. H. Satyabratha, PhED Minister Diko and other MLAs were also present at the distribution function. A total of 3,362 beneficiaries under Prime Minister Street Vendors Atma Nirbhar Nidhi and another 347 beneficiaries under Mudra were provided with loans at the function. The Chief Minister further said when daily wagers applied for loans at nationalized banks in state, they are often looked down and treated indifferently by the banks. Thereby, he urged the banks to work for the welfare of the people and maintained that if such incident repeat again in future, the government will not remain silent. He also reiterated that the BJP-led government is for the people of Manipur. There are some nationalized banks in state which help the vendors by providing loans. The chief minister also urged the vendors to repay their loans in time. He also announced awards for selected banks on August 15 based on the performances of such banks providing benefits to the people. PM Sabanadiki Makada Mio Lishing Ohunga Tara Manga beneficiary street vendorship Lake Laira Oana Tanjari B Tali Bushing Lishing Ohunga Tara Manga permanent to in a market Tamoyi Pambam Lairaba Question Sail of Pambanataba Binders in a Sahunga Niputa Yauri and a Puna Lishing Ohunga Sahunga Punitoi was it how the Puna Pigrisi Lishing Manga Sahunga Yang Kaimari a Quigi State Secret Targeta Mio Lishing Kunda Mashida Mogam Nunga Pawamana Singi area se Arwan ki manung rasing de banina. Maro ena the Arwan street vendors level. Ada koi Singi area desi manga taru. Ano wehen kala ibisi ka tarah mukshi koi Okhul town, Soshanpur, Kangkopi, Senapati, Tamenglong, Sandel nursing bata headquarters in the Pammi ba street vendors in the Singi. Assistance, Sigi Longi, Pibi, Ananavi, Laiba, Senapati, the Hing Tarima Panda, Pamudo River, Cabinet meetings, the Pamakanda, Hide of a Sigi scheme, say, Singi districts in the Sup, Sandoko Yananaba, Singi districts in the Lai Biriba, State Vendors in the Pibi, Yananaba, Cabinet and the Shell Lorani, as you may have dialogue for Sigi Projagui. The Pishingo, Kakil Pamasunana, Masa Hajinikoina. Ana yek lehen dana. Ham ba yana ba dogi market tara amasu ayab ba pire sana na ba masida ja koi Bishanpur, Chennai, chowu chowu lehi Bishan se loi na cover to rani. Si jo atu bama thamda na si manga tara ni manung le zatra hulu le saaba ho rani. Mahut Minister O Henry said to alleviate the hardships faced by street vendors during this difficult time of coronavirus pandemic, the loans were distributed as part of the initiative launched by the Prime Minister. How the COVID matam stage sentok lay traba imai bel meam sing sigi akoi na ngam zaba matin kaimta pangwa ngamud tragesu bengi through the gi 
Hitare, state of Hender Villon, Piriba, ma'am, ma'am, and the Kangi on the knee, the Kashunta will Patara, Lissing Tarasibu, Kadoduino, and the Lissing Tarasi, ma'am, and the Kangi, the Rai, Chisela Pomatam, Yumamaga, Maga Social Distancing, Tarapomatam, the Mateng Pang, we never lay Trabamatam, the Rida, I quake the Mata, I use the Hazaba, and I will see him the Lit Toraga, Masito, the way they pee, the way they hide in a Praza. Pham khara da yohon mangam gribasisu. Hai bhi honorable si hamna hona bhi badegi. Koi masigi achievement se phangi bani hai tarre. Koi masse do hona bhi nabar koi ichne naum mein ham councillor mein ham, ane ki government ki koi mahot ki employee mein ham, wo koi puna musum musum thakat tabegam de. Special Court and DPS Manipur sentenced a couple to 12-year imprisonment in drug case. They are Saugaijam Robindro Singh, son of Saugaijam Ibotombi Singh of Kakching Wairi Thongam Lekai, presently residing at More Supermarket, and his wife Lal Rozami Dalian, 27, of More Supermarket, Ward No. 2. The couple was arrested for WY tablet and heroin smuggling. After the court found both guilty on November 20, the court sentenced them to jail under Section 21B and Section 22C after the last hearing held today. The court awarded judgment for them to pay a fine of 1.5 lakh rupees within six months. Special Public Prosecutor of NDPS Advocate Koshia Mao said, Though there are many drug-related cases in Manipur, punishment could not be given since the charge sheets have not been submitted. Submitted timely. This is a crime not for an individual person. They are committing a crime which is affecting the whole society. And as we are all aware that the present government is also fighting so much for war against drugs. So we and I as a prosecutor in this court, I assure that if there is an investigation which is done properly and if the accused is at all found guilty then obviously punishment should be given so that the society should know that to do such a kind of business it is harming the whole society there are so many families broken families because of this so many parents who are unable to see their children grow up and then we also see that it is just like a murder for a murderer you are just killing one people but for a crime of such thing, you are murdering more than hundreds, more than thousands, and it is affecting the whole society at, at large. So I want to appeal to each and every one that let us fight this war against drugs. A 52-minute long documentary film, I Rise, based on ace boxer Laishram Sarita Devi, directed and cinematographed by national award-winning filmmaker Borun Thokchom, won the best documentary in the documentary category of the 9th Mumbai Short International Film Festival 2020, which was announced yesterday in Mumbai. The film produced by the film's division tells the ups and downs of the life of Laishram Sarita Devi, an eight times Asian Championship medalist. The film was selected the best one among 19 documentary films which made the official selection for the competition. A total of 392 films from more than 55 countries took part in the festival this year to vie for the awards in different categories. Earlier, I Rise bagged the best film on Women Outstanding Achievement Award in the Tagore International Film Festival 2020 in West Bengal. The Mumbai Short International Film Festival, a progressive cinema movement, started in year 2012 with the consultation of senior industry members to highlight the short films. Speaking to ISTV News, Borun Thokchom has expressed rejoicement on receiving the award and also shared credit with all those who have worked with him on producing the film. Sigi credit the entire team ko. I film to I I team the pinning a the film as the Mo I Tom Natoya Pona Te. Aduga Amana Aquayi Leiva Kui Chesaritagi, Chesarita Maruina to Magi family, uh do a Tamotoiba, my husband. I went a hammer say Moi Mang the Moida Prosto Wibukanda. 
ari matamnu je khoi je film ma hai di mo chang hilu bhai hai ro bhai ji mi gi privacy da yam na documentary number ji mo je yam disturb tok tok report le bi ni adu mo ni yam phajana khoi da ya bi ga chai manga je loin loiner aga mo ni yam phajana smaina khoi na number pangan bi je mo 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 je mo mo je yam phajana mo family de apre bizani ni tamo Mhm. Adum khata na hoje maleng yo na covid 19 pandemic matam se la phung na kar ma wena hoje se kari kari work to biri kari kari bini ngot. Tamo ya du na covid lai bidina ai gi maina mumbai gi festival gi seven set pa phangre. Ai yau ba ya dre du na koi na si award celebration jinga na koi online na loina tawra hai ta re. Lai koi online na tawra ga. Maina ai award phange na maina ai nga 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 e ai phaz na film du. International competition film ya mani na. Mhm. Ai di e yau dung maina ka pan ka pi jam ไฟไกลคันเมนดูสมัยเนี่ยอวอร์ดโอยน์ฟังเซลบิซิลี่ไลฟ์ก็ยังพาวายไทยตามก็อ่ะดูก็ฮุซิกโควิดไลฟ์
kani tharabdi akoi nungaishi ni ado kanja gumba nisha gi polsi tharabdi paisa se tonge phange habdu di khangrib ni ado koi atang khun dedi ashi gumba nisha si di krisu thaning de ado na thaning drum ni na koi khun mi so wa ni madu di nisha di krisu sidin raba yaro ya hadun na laib ni sa gada ba ya gada ba podo sarkar na adum akoi bu se MP of Lok Sabha constituency Dr R K Ranjan inaugurated the newly built Somai Thingba Khono Youth and Students Organization SYSO Sports Complex and also opened SYSO Sports Meet 2020 in Sanapati district. The program was also graced by Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh R U Jonathan Tao. Deputy Director Environment and Climate Change Dr. T. H. Bogen, Vice President BJP Manipur Pradesh R. K. Somarjit and President of ST Morcha BJP Manipur Pradesh Lanjai Gai Kami. Speaking on the occasion, MP Dr. R. K. Ranjan stressed on the importance of sports in everyday life. He further highlighted that there are many typical places in the region with varied natural wonders. Maduna Haksang Papa Amasum Punsi Sangba, Pangal Kanba, Aduk di Piraga, Modern Sports Science Da Togla Aga, Competitive Key, Level Amadala Akanda, Competition the Sierra Torkanda, Ekoi Punna Kiminaba, Punna Gold Saminaba, Punna Pasto Minaba, Collective Responsibility Ama Pika Herbudi, Asibu Makalgi, Well Developed. A 29-year-old man who had allegedly raped a minor girl was arrested by police with the help from public after he escaped from the lockup. The accused has been identified as Oinam Nanao, son of late Mai Pag of Moirang Trong Laubi Mamang Leikai. On the charge of sexually assaulting a minor girl, the accused was arrested on the intervening night of December 4 and 5 from Sugnu subdivision area under a case lodged by Sugnu police station. He was later placed at Waikong police station. However, he escaped from the lockup at Waikong police station when the OC of Sugnu came to pick him up. Later, a frantic search operation was immediately carried out by the district police with the help of village authority and the accused was found hiding beneath a bundle of straws at a field located at Tejpur Awang local. SP of Kakching District, Victoria Yenkom, conveyed sincere gratitude and appreciation towards the public for extending help and she also handed over reward and citations as a token of appreciation. Kaksing the Dikui already come cycle patrol, Semeam Ubira Maniko, Akui, Hai Basina, Koi community policing, Sequina Yamna, focus to Zaba. Public key, public na meet Nakong, Policy or a candida, Koi, crimes, a thing, Mungam may have a say, Sisina Toba, Kudama Mane, have a say, Thumbs again. But Matam Yam Crucial or Matam Sila Paho Basigi, Libak Pavadi, Hajiki Libak Tiraba, Kungang, Nupi Masadu Kungang. Migi, Masagi, Angang, the Boo, so Halam Bagi Nungai, the Quesan and a lady of Kangu singer, so a mock crime, tore up by Yabagi at Obama Labour, the way Madame Zana May sings and named Hergi by Hibatarika. Sivumba, Police Public Corporations, a quid district, my ba a Hibasi, Sinus Kodama Mabibel. GAC formed against the alleged sexual assault on a 29-year-old woman of Imphal East District by one C.H. Rabi Chandra of Uyumpog and the attempt to kill the woman on November 19 has strongly condemned the failure of the authority concerned to take up any action against the culprit who perpetrated the heinous offence. Speaking to media persons at the press meet held at Manipur Press Club today, spokesperson of the GAC, DJ Chen Nong Thombam expressed disappointment at the failure of the police to inform the JAC about what action has been taken regarding the case even after 20 days. He warned of launching intense agitation along with civil society organizations in the state if the police fail to charge Shid and award severe punishment to the culprit. Masi Pavuda, Havadi, Numitkuni, Haraglava, Sipavuda, Sapsava, Zesida, Tizin Biriba, 
Home Department Amadi Lenga Ana Pibi Bang Amda Badagi Hai Riba Kesa Sigi Tijin Biri Ba Police Department Amadi Lenga Ana Laak Liba December Ki Tarik Tara Manga Pau Bagi Manung Da Saar Chit Thagat Pidu Na Wayan Chatha Bidu Na Amadi Matik Chaba Ahak Pasirak Pibi Du Na Loina Loina Na Hai Riba Nupi Masa Asigi Mahak Ki Pun Si Mayam Chama Asigi Merak Ta Tin Bai Yana Na Bagi Shin Bi Yu Hai Da Na Lenga Ak Ta Apil Tau Jari Kari Gung Ba December Ki Tarik Tara Manga Sipao Ki Manung Da Saar Chit Thangat Bidu Na Wayan Chatha Ba Hau Dragadi JSC Na Chang Shin Du Na Lepak Miam Ki Nupi Ki Maru Ina Nupi Ki Jai Pana Bagi Dung Ta Lai Riba Sang San Singh Amadi Civil Society Organization Puna Maka Kusam Nazar Ka Maka Ta Ba Akan Ba Khung Jang Sang Chil La Gani Hai Da Na Mayam Da Lau Thok Chari Lamdan Kabui Women's Society has maintained that M. Kuripo is the chief of Lamdan Kabui village and there are no two chiefs of the village. Speaking to media persons, a secretary of the society, Tabuna Gangmai, appealed to the authority concerned to look into restriction imposed on construction of school and other developmental works at the village by one M. Acham, who claimed to be the village chief. Secretary of the Society Rita Kame maintained that M. Acham is a person with criminal records. He has been reporting to police against villagers with false charge of rape. Rita maintained that all these have to be stopped at once. She expressed apprehension that untoward incidents might occur at the village if the authority concerned fails to intervene at the earliest. Consider Kulakpagi, Wapam, or land dispute, or uh, any politic issues, the Missi Mihat Hibase, Tok Tabanate, a quay ado, prevent the Gihaina Lakpani, a like minded organization, or any student body, or the public adornment, the Equise, Purak Sabani, intervene Kratau Biu, in case if anything happened, Equi Data, Pubanga Moy, Hibase, we our patient is running out Hibatare, Madame De Vidorm. Want to be a part of him, magine culture like the bar, wakhan or barbaric mindset puba, migi, mong de yenga de akwesu, katna ning rakani, sounding rakani haiba, adugi the magda. A sincere appeal to all the various department of our district, Sur Chanpur, not to to be aware of the sickening character and behavior of M. Acham and not to entertain his baseless claim and allegation. In particular, we appeal to our police station. Achumbase thidok raga, investigate tau raga, karino hai bado, laubiyu hai base, aroi bada aina hai ningi. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar inaugurated a newly constructed Tenta Multiplex Kangsang located at Tenta Multiplex Complex in Taubal District. The Kangsang was built by Tenta Multiplex Management Committee along with support from the people with an objective of preserving Kang, an indigenous game of Manipur. Former Minister Dr. M. Nara, President of Manipur Kang Association M. Jadumani and Patmashri Awardee Nabawarepa were also present at the inaugural function. Addressing the function, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar highlighted the importance of preserving Kang. He also called for collective efforts to conserve and bring back old age traditions and culture so that peace and harmony will prevail in the state. Agriculture Minister Oinam Lukoi has stated that the government is always prepared to provide the benefits of schemes introduced by the Centre for Agriculture Department and urged district agriculture officers and staffs in every district to work towards facilitating the benefits of various schemes to farmers in time. He was speaking at a reception program organized for him 
by Agriculture Department at its office at San Chen Thong today. Agriculture Commissioner M. Joy and Agriculture Director Lal Than Pui Wan Chong were among those present at the program. Starting that, the responsibility handed over to Agriculture Department is for the welfare of farmers in the state. Minister Lukoi urged the officials of the department to work sincerely and diligently. He also stated that he will soon visit Delhi and meet the Union Agriculture Minister to make the center sanction schemes for the welfare of the farmers. Anna Tauramba Piramba and the Pantolo Pachin Jidugi, Karehena Masak Topo, Karehena, Braza the Kanaga, the Wadumba, Tongan Tongan, but idea put home Minerva. I am the Pramar Singh, Lady of Chintam, Punamuxi, the Queen Kana, and the Agriculture Department Sidagi, Pramar Singh, the Queen Masak Tong, Queen Punamagna. Onaraba, Matunda, Pramatin City, Nungaja, Pramatin Sina, Homo Nopa, Pramatin Nopa, the Koshu, Sulia Minasi, Amimakai, Yarimakai, transfer Lena, Tamu Shenga, City Dim Wagni, individual Wagna, the equated only thing, decision over Katani, Tabuk, the Vigadori Vajingi, Mayana, Pilda Levi Vajin, Expatin Hatanina, Power on the Guide of you, Mayam Hutilaga. MLA of Patsoy Assembly Constituency, A.K. Mirabai, has laid the foundation stones for construction of a 0.8 ml capacity overhead tank reservoir and a 0.2 ml capacity emergency service reservoir on the Manipur Water Supply Project NDB at Ghari today. Head Pandit of Changangai Uchekon Primary School, El Bira, member of Changangai Zila Parishad, S. Marjid, Pradhan and member of Changangai Uchekon Gram Panchayat attended the event held at Changangai Uchekon. Moirang Tim Ibotombi Memorial Trust Hayrog observed the 26th death anniversary of former Minister Moirang Tim Ibotombi at the residence of MPCC President M. Okendro at Hayrog Part 2 Mayailekai today. The observance was held in a subdued manner attended by the family members and members of the Trust. M. Okendro led the attendees in offering tribute to the departed politician and pension for 12 months amounting to 2,400. 100 rupees each were distributed to a total of 1,602 people, including widows, senior citizens, and differently abled persons. Speaking on the occasion, President of Moirang Tem Ibotombi Memorial Charitable Trust, Moirang Tem Okendro, exhorted the members of the trust to continue to raise their voice against violence. <laughs> BJP Manipur State Council member K. H. Ibumcha, in association with Saijang Progressive Youth Club SBYC and Saijang Village Development Committee, constructed a Kacha Dam at Saijang. K. H. Ibumcha provided JCP, Tripper, and Necessary Fund for the construction of the dam. Kumbi Municipal Council cleaned up the road stretching from the starting point of Kumbi Village to road leading to Leisabi Bridge where a gate with banner Welcome to Kumbi is situated. Earlier, the said road was filled with debris and 
mud from tractors plying on the road causing inconveniences to passers-by. Chairperson of Kumbi Municipal Council Wang Bum Prioranjan, Executive Officer Moirang Tem Inaubi, councillors and members of various ward development committees took part in the cleanliness drive held as part of Swatch Surveyction 2021. Councillor of Ward No. 9 Wang Bum Bobichan Luang said, The cleanliness drive was held with the objective of maintaining Kumbi town and get included under Bharat Mission Urban. Celine Digital and NR Media have jointly taken pledge to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic today. Producer of Celine Digital, Fanjobam Lanajit, proprietor of NR Media, NR Rajesh Ashing, and Pradhan of Moidangpo Gram Panchayat, Lashram Kainatombi, were among those present at the event held at Moidongpo Mamang Lekai Lampag. Face masks and hand sanitizers were provided to those present on the occasion. In the national news, as farmers continue to camp at Singhu border to protest against the farm laws and the agitations against the central government's farm laws entering Day 12, Daily Chief Minister Irvin Ketriwal paid a visit to the spot today, reviewed facilities for the farmers. The Am Army Party, AAP, had on Sunday extended its support to the Bharat Bund called by farmers' organizations on December 8. Congress President Sonia Gandhi, NCP leader Sarat Pawar, CPIM General Secretary Sitaram Yachuri, DMK Chief MK Stalin and PAGD Chairperson Farooq Abdullah issued a joint statement on Sunday supporting the call for Bharat Ban on Tuesday by farmer groups. Many auto and taxi unions in the city have also decided to join Bharat Ban on December 8, called by farmer unions protesting against the recent farm laws. Over 350 have fallen sick, one dead following a mysterious illness in Eluru city of Andhra Pradesh. As many as 76 people have been moved to a hospital since a Sunday night, taking the number of sick to over 350. So far, 186 have been discharged from the hospital, while 164 are still under treatment, officials said. A 45-year-old man who was admitted to the GGH in Eluru this morning with symptoms of nausea and epilepsy had died on Sunday evening. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy to arrive at Eluru and visit the hospitals where the sick have been admitted. The Andhra Chief Minister will also hold a meeting with district officials. In wake of the situation, the administration has declared a holiday in educational institutions across Eluru. A 24-7 control room has been set up in the Eluru Municipal Corporation office. Milk samples also collected at random and sent for examination in Vijayawada. A team of doctors from Ames, Mangalgiri, scientist of National Institute of Nutrition Hyderabad and Indian Institute of Chemical Technology have been sent to Eluru to ascertain the source of illness. Health authorities could not yet establish the cause of the sudden disease though blood tests and CT brain scan were performed. The probable cause could become evident only after the culture test results came in. Now before we wind up a quick glance at the headlines. Ten markets for women vendors to be built in rural areas soon, asserts Chief Minister N. Biren. Special Court NDPS Manipur sentences couple to 12-year imprisonment in drug case. Borun Thokchom's I Rise wins Best Documentary in 9th Mumbai Short International Film Festival 2020. That's all we have in the news at 4. See you again with more news at 7 tonight.